This episode of the Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Go. A potential political sea change, which is interesting. It's always tough for pol- unions, for firefighters and cops, uh, when it comes time to endorse presidential candidates. A- and admittedly, police unions are fairly split, but they lean slightly Republican. These are generally conservative guys in, in general. And, you know, the, the uh, image incorrectly, 100% incorrectly, that Republicans had helped foster, which was that they were the tough law and order guys and Democrats soft on crime. One of the first things that made me really mad as a Democrat was the notion that I'm soft on crime. I couldn't be less soft on crime. Um, I just don't want you to execute people. And I don't want you to put people who sell drugs in jail so that they take up 80% of the space. Uh, I just want logic dictated to it. You use violence against another person. I'm done with you. I don't want you out. I want you to serve your sentence. I don't want you out on parole. I don't know anybody who doesn't feel that way. It's just a, it's a giant ability, it's a very successful ability Republicans had to misrepresent what Democrats feel about important visceral issues like crime. At any rate, frequently you saw police organizations endorse Republicans, which is always strange because the Republicans were anti-union and these were unions endorsing Republicans. Now, Democrats got a ton of police union support over the years, specifically Bill Clinton did, and that has continued. Nonetheless, I would say, and there's evidence to suggest as this story points out, that traditionally you get more cop unions supporting Republicans. But that may be changing because of what we're seeing in Wisconsin and now Ohio, because these guys are angry. Chuck Canterbury, by the way, he's the president of the national president of the Fraternal Order Police. uh, And he says his members are, quote, this is his quote, shocked by the turn of events. And I like reading that because, of course, in Wisconsin, Uh, as I pointed out, Scott Fitzgerald did that sort of horrible, devious thing of leaving firefighters and police officers out of the equation, saying that they could still maintain their collective bargaining rights, even though that logically, that makes absolutely no sense. If you're going to take, if you give the argument, as Ann Coulter and these other uh, Republicans make, is that, uh, look, if you're a public employee, you lose the right to collectively bargain. Cops, firefighters, you can't do it either. You don't get exempt. You don't get exempt. And you shouldn't, if that's the argument we're having. Wisconsin, took the caveat out, but Ohio is not taking the caveat out. And nothing hurts more politically than a bunch of angry firefighters and policemen. And what I like to see from this guy, Chuck Canterbury, the national president of Fraternal Order Police, is that he suggests that there's outrage even by the turn of events against the unions in Wisconsin where the cops and firefighters were laid out because cops have instinctively, if you're in a, if you're a, in a police union, you're not gonna go around thinking that the teachers union is a bunch of crackpots who just want to sort of warehouse kids for eight hours a day and then go home and get their feet rubbed because teachers do yeoman's work that I don't do and you don't do either. So, and the fact that you're stripping the collective bargaining rights of teachers is going to offend cops, and apparently it has. So Chuck Canterbury says, and this is a great line, who are these evil teachers, says Chuck Canterbury, who teach your children, these evil policemen who protect them, these evil firemen who pull them out of burning buildings, when did we all become evil? And by the way, the Fraternal Order Police Union endorsed John McCain in 2004 and George Bush in 2000. Sorry, George Bush in 2000 and 2004, John McCain in 2008. So three straight endorsements for Republicans from the Fraternal Order of Police. But who are these evil teachers? And I like it that he led with the teachers too. Led with the teachers. Who are the evil teachers who teach our children? The firemen, the policemen who protect us and the firemen who run into burning buildings. When did we all become evil? And now he's traveling the country to rally support for the, to rally uh, Fraternal Order of Police members to rise up against these anti-labor laws uh, in Wisconsin and in Ohio, and they're dealing with it in Indiana, and they're going to deal with it in a bunch of other states. Um, And he says here, there's going to be a backlash. This is what uh, uh, Chuck Canterbury warns. There's going to be a backlash. He says, and we are going to hold them accountable. Well, holding them accountable means holding Republicans accountable. So that represents the potential for a significant sea change politically. And when you hear thoughtful political analysts talk about that there really might be a backlash against this from Republicans, this is what they're talking about. 
If you don't feel like reading a book and you want to listen to it, all you got to do is go to audible.com and you can download a book onto your iPod or MP3 player. In fact, just the other day I was listening to 1984, my favorite book, and they have over 75,000 titles to choose from. So you can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com/tyt.